Hello, princes and princesses. Welcome to another episode of Melanie Sliced Thinner, and I am Melanie. And today I'm going to be talking about something that I've wanted to talk about for a little while. Um, I just have my research here. Oh, you heard it. Research. Here we go. Melanie's fixed to go on another tirade. <laughs> um, yeah. It's not necessarily a tirade, but it's it's another episode of Let's Think. How about that? That's our new investigative reporting series. Let's think. Um, I want to talk about bariatric vitamins. In my last video, I was talking about, um, you know, hidden carbs, and I had also mentioned about some types of bariatric things that just because it has the word bariatric slapped on it. Um, in our ignorance, we automatically buy it and believe in it and don't think that there's any other alternative for us, that we have to have this bariatric stuff and that um, the sellers in the industry kind of take advantage of us on that because we don't know any better. So what I'm gonna talk about today is vitamins and I'm going to do a comparison between three of uh, the bigger bariatric vitamins that I'm familiar with, uh, that I've been able, to, been able to find information out on, and some regular old vitamins that you can get at Walmart, drugstore, grocery store, or Amazon. So first, before I get into that, I'm going to talk about the ASMBS, which is the American Society of Metabolic and Bariatric Surgeons their bariatric nutrition guidelines. The ASMBS is an association of bariatric surgeons and, and surgical staff physicians that deal in the surgery and nutrition and post, post care and all that sort of thing. And they've come together and they agreed upon through their own experience and practice as well as uh, research and medical journals and everything and following through with their patients of um, nutrition vitamin guidelines post-op and these are just best practices um, and these are baseline you know as you as you progress more post surgery it's up to you to keep on your labs and communicate with your medical team and adjust your vitamin as necessary so if your your iron level starts to go down of course that means you would need to increase your iron we're going to talk about just the baseline recommendations right now um, there are so many different surgeries, um, you know, there's adjustable band, there's BSG, and neither one of those have any malabsorption, they're just purely restriction. Then there's Ruin Y, Distal Ruin Y, the Loop, Sadie, Sips, and the traditional duodenal switch. Um, the one that seems to be kind of right down the middle is the Ruin Y, and it's also mostly the most common. So I'm going to just for the sake of, of uh, brevity and uniformity, I'm going to go using Ruin Y uh, standards. Okay, so according to the ASMBS, uh, Ruin Y patients should get a multivitamin, which needs to be a high potency vitamin containing 100% of daily value for at least two thirds of the nutrients. Um, for Ruin Y patients, they need 200% of the daily values. So if the vitamin, the multivitamin contains 100%, then the Ruin Y patients need double the dose. And included in this multivitamin, in addition to the 100% daily values of two thirds of the nutrients, it also needs at least 18 milligrams of iron. It needs at least 400 micrograms of folic acid. It needs to contain selenium and zinc. And they say that you are not supposed to mix a multivitamin containing iron with a calcium supplement. So do not take your multi and your calcium at the same time. That they need to be taken at least two hours apart. And this is ASMBS recommendations. They also recommend at least three, well they not, not at least, but they recommend between 350 and 500 micrograms of B12 a day. If it's contained within the multivitamin, that's fine. Otherwise, you'll need to take an additional supplement. 
elemental calcium. This is in addition to anything that might be contained in that multi. They say that you need to pick calcium citrate with D3, not calcium carbonate. It needs to be calcium citrate and it also has to contain vitamin D3. That a Roux and Y patient needs between 1500 and 200 milligrams every day of elemental calcium that it needs to be split into doses of five to 600 milligrams each. So that would mean three doses. It needs to be spaced evenly throughout the day. And they would also recommend a calcium that also contains magnesium. It's not required, but it's highly suggested, especially if your multivitamin doesn't have or doesn't have very much magnesium. They also say that you need to add elemental iron. This is on top of whatever is contained in your uh, multi. The, the elemental iron, well, I say if, you're, if your multi contains, has to contain at least 18 milligrams of iron, but then an additional elemental iron, you need to have another 18 to 27 milligrams daily of elemental iron. So you need to have at least 18 in your multi plus an additional 18 to 27 milligrams of iron from somewhere. So let's compare vitamins and see how they match up. First is um, that I picked, ooh, bear with me. <laughs> because, aha, here it is. My nose, I'm so organized. The first one that I chose to, to, to review is Berry Life. And Berry Life vitamins are the ones that are done through my doctor's office. And as a matter of fact, uh, he owns the company. <laughs> so I, I don't take these, but this is what my doctor's office recommends. It's the Berry Life. Uh, they offer a multivitamin tablet a bottle of 180 tablets is $29.99 and a single dose uh, is three tablets. So as a Ruin Y patient, you should be taking six of these a day to meet the ASMBS guidelines. And I checked and verified the dosages. Uh, it meets your iron, your selenium, your daily values, your copper. It does not meet your folic. Uh, it also does not meet your calcium. So if you're just taking the multivitamins, again, you have the Berry Life multivitamins as a Ruin Y patient, you would need to be taking six of those a day. You would need to get some additional folic acid, which Berry Life does not sell as a separate supplement. You would need to get additional iron to get the additional requirements needed. Um, they sell a bottle of 60 tablets of their iron for $19.99 and you would take one tablet of the day. You would need additional calcium, which Berry Life does not sell separate calcium. So on the Berry Life, taking the Berry Life multivitamin and the Berry Life iron, you would spend $36 a month, but you would still need to go elsewhere to get your folic acid and your calcium. So it's going to be $36 plus, and all your needs still haven't been, been met. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is Bariatric Advantage. Bariatric Advantage sells a multivitamin tablet. It's the Ultra, ultra, the ultra Multi Formula with Iron. One bottle of 90 tablets is $19.95. And these prices right now that I'm telling, like the Berry Life prices I got from the Berry Life website, the Bariatric Advantage price I got from the Bariatric Advantage website, and all these I got yesterday. Their bottle of 90 tablets of those, or capsules I believe, is $19.95. Three capsules meets the RNY requirements for the multi you would still need to take additional calcium and additional iron. Bariatric Advantage does sell those. So the Bariatric Advantage Calcium Chewable, it's a chewable tablet, not the chewy that looks like a caramel or a starburst. I didn't go that those, I went tablets or chewable tablets. The chewable tablet calcium 
is uh, a bottle of 90 for $24.95. You would need three of those a day. And they have an iron tablet, 45 tablets, or this, it's called iron 45 tablets. That's what it's called. You get 60, a bottle of 60 pills for $14.95, and you would need to take one of those a day. So those would meet all of your requirements according to the ASMBS. So using the bariatric multi, chewable calcium, and iron, it would cost you $52.50 a month. And you would be taking three, six, seven pills a day. With the Berry Life, you would be taking six, seven, and not including your extra folic and calcium. So I would say probably at least 11, 12 a day, pills of something a day. Okay, so again, the bariatric advantage cost to meet your requirements as a room and wide patient would be $52.50 a month. Celebrate. Celebrate. I looked at Celebrate Vitamins. Uh, their tablets or capsules, their multivitamin, it's called Multi Complete 60. You get a bottle of 90 capsules for $22.95. You would take three of those a day. You would still need calcium. Uh, they do sell a calcium. It's Calcium Plus tablet. Uh, a bottle, a 30-day supply bottle of those would be $12.95. You would take six of those a day. Total of nine pills. Your total cost per month is $36. So that's Celebrate. So to go again, using Berry Life is $36 a month plus you still need to buy extra folic and extra calcium. Bariatric Advantage is $52.50 a month which meets it all. Celebrate is $36 a month which meets it all. Alright, let's go over the counter. Centrum Centrum Adults Multi. Uh, you, you're looking at, at their information. Two of those a day will meet your requirements under ASMBS as a Rue and Y patient. You would need additional iron and calcium. So instead of taking between three and six multivitamins a day, you can take two Centrum Adults. Uh, going off of Amazon yesterday, there's a bottle of 365 tablets. Is a, a, a three a bottle of 365 tablets is $23.81, and that ends up being a six month supply. So it ends up costing you four dollars a month. Okay, for the iron, you still need additional iron. There is a Nature Made 65 milligram iron. You would take one of those a day. There's a bottle of 180 tablets for $5.31. That ends up being a six month supply. So that uh, costs you a dollar a month. Then you need calcium. Citracal Max is calcium citrate. Got some D in there. It's fantastic. With Citracal Max, you would need three a day. So on Amazon, and I got the iron price from Amazon as well, from Citracal Max for a 180 count bottle from Amazon is $11.04. That's a 60 day supply. So it ends up being $5.52 a month. And those will meet all of your requirements according to the ASMBS for a Rue and Y patient. So based on Amazon using Centrum, Nature Made Iron, and Citracal Max, your total cost per month is $11. $11. And your requirements have been met just like they were met with Berry Life, Bariatric Advantage, and celebrate. Tell me that you're not paying more for that bariatric sticker. 
there are some vitamins and I haven't even gotten into the crazy ones yet <laughs> the gimmick ones yet this is just tablets some of them say oh well, we absorb better we're better for the bariatric patient really don't go there uh -uh -uh. if you can't show some evidence and some proof then I'm not going to believe you because we've heard that song before. Gene Pro, anyone? Yeah, we've heard that before about, oh, this is the best absorbed and, and this is, this is, you know, medical, la, la, la. I know people that have been taking Centrum and Citricalmax and their lab levels are fantastic. So, would you rather pay $36 a month plus having to get by, still buy extra or $52.50 a month and all your needs are met or $36 a month and all your needs are met or $11 a month and all your needs are met and you're even taking fewer pills some of them the same with the Centrum Nature Made and Citricale Max, you're going to take three, five, six pills a day total. Celebrate, you're going to take six, nine pills a day total. Bariatric Advantage, you're going to take three, six, seven pills a day total. And Berry Life, you're going to take approximately 12 pills a day total. My way, is cheaper and fewer pills. If, you have, if you're going to take fewer pills, do you think that would make you more compliant on your vitamins? And if they're cheaper, more cost effective, do you think that would help you be more compliant? The same nutritional requirements. My way just doesn't have this special bariatric sticker. Read your labels. Study. Investigate. You don't have to go with the bariatric options on your shakes, on your vitamins, on a lot of things. You be the judge. Sparkle on!